four, three, two, one. It is. It is Pete Cohen here. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. You can see one of my guests is already here because we've got so many guests this evening. I, there wasn't enough room in the green room, even though it's a virtual uh, green room. Uh, has anyone here ever been in a green room, a proper green room for uh, television? I have, and I met some amazing people. I met Terry Waite, believe it or not. Who's Terry Waite? Some of you don't know, but it doesn't matter if you do. But he had a story to tell, uh, especially being kidnapped uh, for, for many years. And he had a story to tell. And I believe everyone has a story to tell. There's a great story in all of us. And that's what we're doing all of this week. We are sharing some great stories of our My365 elite members. And I'm just going to share this in one place. And then I'm going to come to my first guest, who's already there, uh, just waiting for me to start talking to her. So where are you this evening? Tell us where you are in the world and tell us what you had for dinner. Tell us what you had for dinner. We'd love to know because we're all starving hungry because we've been preparing for this interview for hours. No, we haven't. We would love to know what did you have for dinner? Um, as I just share this in one other place and we'll get started. And we're here this evening to inspire you because you can learn a lot from me, most definitely, but you can learn a lot from people who have already achieved uh, maybe some of the things in your life that you want to achieve. Uh, why not also in the chat box, tell us something in your life that's important to you and, and that you're working on. Maybe it's your confidence, maybe it's your weight, maybe it's your finances, maybe it's something you want to achieve, a, a book you want to write. What is it in your life right now that you're working on? Um, and let's get straight on right here right now i've just shared that we're all good there let's close that down and let me introduce you uh, to my first guest this evening the amazing sophia best good evening sophia how are you good evening p i'm amazing thank you very much it's good to be good here. you are most definitely and when did you first work out that you were amazing no, not that long ago actually um yes. probably around about i don't know september october well october really when um you awarded me the member of the month yes That's and you ins you ins you inspired so many people you, you, your story really did uh give a lot of people a different perspective on, on what it actually takes uh specifically with weight loss which is one of the things that we, we can touch on but just tell us uh sophia who you are where you're from and tell us a little bit about what you've achieved since you've been a My365 Elite member. Okay. Um, I live in Royal Wootton Bassett in, down in Wiltshire. I'm a police officer and I've been doing that for a number of years now. Um, I've been a my 365 er since early 2016 and joined Elite as soon as I heard about it. And have my, my journey has just taken off and, and grown from there. I have achieved so much but most of all I have built a relationship with myself I've really got to know myself Pete I've got to find you know the person that I actually am um, and that I am not my values and beliefs that you know I grew up with that came from my parents and things like that I'm now my, my <clears throat> excuse me my own person and um, you know I'm very comfortable in my own skin now I used yeah. to suffer a lot from, you know, depression um, and just I'd gone through a period of depression just before I joined uh, the My365 family, um, come through that. And I have no doubt now with the tools that I've learned through working uh, with you that I, I'll never go back there. I'm very, very confident of that. I'll never go back there. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. You know, I think... Uh... Some people don't like to admit the fact that they had uh, weaknesses, uh, but uh, it's amazing when, when people do admit it and then they, they go to work on themselves and they overcome something that was holding them back. So just tell us a little bit about what, you, what you've achieved. So there's quite a few things, right? You said you've got a better relationship with yourself. What else is, is different? Um, I, I'm much more comfortable in my body now. Um, I used to hate my body. I used to hate the way I looked. Um, I would look in the mirror and, you know, I would just end up, you know, really upset, crying, angry, frustrated, never happy, never happy with the person that I was. And now I can look in the mirror and I can accept, you know, my body for all that she does for me. And, you know, 
warts and all you know I'm not perfect but you know none of us are and it's you know it's a really nice person that's now looking back at me that self hate and loathing has completely gone completely yeah. gone it's crazy isn't it because i think so many people have it but it's something they don't often talk about but you've often, you've lost a substantial amount of weight as well haven't you yeah i've lost 30 i've, 30? I've lost three stone wow I've lost three stone and 44 inches no that's um, unbe- that's yeah. that's that's incredible. And what do you put that down to? If you were going to really look at what, what, if you were going to pinpoint that weight loss to something, is there something really that was a catalyst for you in, in that process? Well, it's certainly not any diet I've been on, Pete. That I can tell you, um, it's got nothing at all to do with dieting, to do with you know what I eat or how I eat, when I eat, portion control, how much I exercise. It's got nothing to do with that at all. It's purely got to do with the fact that I have just become very comfortable with the person that I am. I'm very happy. You know, my happiness, my confidence levels have just soared since I've been on this My365 journey. And something switched in my head. It was, it was just like that. That's the only way I can explain it. Once yeah. I started using these tools that you teach us... Um, yeah, the weight just started to, to drop away because at last I wasn't having to permanently think about, you know, what I was eating, why I was eating, about, you know, being on a diet. I could just concentrate on living my life, you yeah. know, having a, having a great time, you know, enjoying what I'm doing, living in the moment. Um, and once I started to do that and really accept myself for who I was, the weight just naturally started to fall away. Wow, it's 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 awesome. And um, of the master classes that that we have within Elite, are there any of those master classes that have really struck a chord with you? Well, mindfulness was a big one for me because I was very good um, at living in the past or looking into the future, and not really concentrating on what was going on in the here and now, which obviously yeah. is so important. Um, so that that was a, a big class, a uh, big masterclass for me, big learning curve. Yeah. Uh, there's so many, to be honest. There is so many. I've really enjoyed and I've grown so much with the last one. Upgrade uh, your life. Upgrade your life. That's where yeah. I've you know, I've really thrown myself into the content of that. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't until I actually completed the end of year review that you asked us to do in the assessment that I yeah. really how far I have come and how much I have grown so that that's probably been the one for me to be honest well listen I really appreciate that I'm going to bring in another one of our guests and uh, Glenn I hope you don't mind but it should always be ladies first I'm, I'm afraid <laughs> but I know you're the perfect gentleman and and you really don't mind so I'm going to bring in um, another one of our guests this evening and that's uh, uh, Janet Davies is Janet who I've known actually for, for quite a long time Janet good evening how are you I'm very well thank you yeah. So, Janet, just tell me, first of all, when you hear Sophia talk about what uh, what she's achieved, tell us, um, what does that do for you? Because I know that you've had some incredible success uh, yourself. But when you hear someone like Sophia say what she's achieved, what does that do for you? Um, it's, it's interesting. I recognize a lot of things that Sophia was saying that... Um, that are, are similar for me, um, that she talked about um, having, being happier and having more self-confidence. Mm-hmm. And, and I can absolutely relate to that. Um, and uh, it's just, I, I can, the, the joy that is coming from her about what she's achieved and how she feels about herself, you know, I feel that as well. And it's, it so, kind of reminds me of where I came from and where I've come to. So we'll definitely look at that. But let me ask you this question. What is it like to be in a community of people that are all kind of fearlessly going after improving themselves? What does that do for someone like you? Uh, it keeps me going. Um, it makes me feel like I'm not doing it by myself. Yeah. Because um, I've I've been – I started out um, – focusing on losing weight but it's actually become so much more than that it's it's been a total self-development experience of really reinventing myself and yeah. that's quite difficult to describe to a lot of people they don't really yeah. understand what you're talking about um <laughs> yes. this, this is an yeah. environment where 
everybody's trying to be the best version of themselves. And just you get so much strength and motivation and inspiration from other people who they might be pursuing different goals, but they're all in the direction of trying to become a better person and a better yeah. version of Oh. Well, as you know, I've said I, I've, I've known you for a long time. And one of my first memories was being at the Vitality show and just seeing you there with a big coat on, almost just hiding away. But when I see you now, I think, wow, you know, in my, I, I, I still in my head think this is incredible what you've achieved. And not just in the fact that you've lost a load of weight, so much more than that. Tell, tell us a little bit about what you have actually achieved. And I know some of that was outside of my 365 Elite, but just give us an overview of who you are now compared to who you were a few years ago. I'm a very different person. I mean, inside, I'm the same person, but um, how I feel about myself and how I kind of project myself into the world has totally, totally changed. Yeah. Um, so I, I have lost over seven stone in weight. Yeah, and I maintained that weight loss over a period of three to four years. Um, I'm still not quite where I want to be. I've moved, transformed from being I used to be a size 24, hiding in very big clothes that um, just hung off my body that were mostly black. Um, I'm now a 16, 18. Uh, I'm aiming to be 14, 16. Not quite sure what that means in weight, um, but. <laughs> That's not the most important thing. It, it, now it's all about being healthy, um, yeah. being as, as fit as I can, as strong, as flexible as I can, and just living life to the full. Yeah, I mean, you, you most definitely have. Uh, Sophia, how, are you inspired by, by Janet? I know you've probably been watching some of her story and what she's done. What does that do for you? Yeah, 100% um, inspired by Janet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I had the pleasure of meeting Janet at the recent My365 Christmas meetup. Um, and I could see, you know, the progress that she's made. But, yeah, everything that Janet says and, and her journey completely resonates with me. And what I was thinking as Janet was talking was I just feel complete freedom. And I think, you know, maybe Janet feels that as well. You just break out of being, you know, a fat person. Mm and you just become totally free in, in your own body and free from the dieting trap. I don't know uh, what age Janet was maybe when she started dieting, but I went on my first diet age six, and I have been stuck Bye. in that cycle all of that time. All of that time. I'm yeah, it, and having, having a, a – it brings about a strange relationship with, with food and with exercise and with yourself. Absolutely. And, in fact – in, in a couple of weeks, we're going to do a whole weight loss thing. I'm going to do a weight loss broadcast for five days. And in the evening, we're going to speak to people. Maybe you can come back on and, and, and talk about that. I just want to finish off because we've got two more guests waiting in the, in the uh, ones in Italy at the moment, which uh, we're looking forward to speaking to him. And the other one is actually at her home, I believe, in North London, not far away from where I am um, right now. So what I wanted to finish off by asking both of you is, you know, is it worth it? Is it really worth? Is self-development something? Because I think it's still kind of frowned upon by some people. But do you think it's worth investing in yourself? What would you say to people out there that maybe kind of sit on the fence a little bit about uh, being happier, being more successful, achieving their goals, their dreams, their ambitions? Uh, Janet, what would you have to say to anyone that is kind of sitting on the fence with developing themselves? Just go for it. it I, I can't tell you how amazing it feels to really focus on yourself and um, just not settle for where you are, just always striving to be to be better. I'm I know myself a lot better. I'm so much happier, so much more self confident. Yeah. Uh, I instead of putting off doing things I want to do, I just go out and do them. Um, it, it's incredibly rewarding. I've I've learned far more through doing self-development personally than I ever have through a lot of development courses that I've done through work. Yeah. So what I've been doing as a result of losing weight and wanting to be as healthy as possible and then be the best person I can be, it's really paid off at work as well. I've um, I've gained all sorts of skills and, and predominantly it's just about having belief in myself. Yeah. 
and confidence, right? Learning yeah, to, kind of, to stand in the light and, you know, rather than standing in the back. It's like, it's yeah, amazing. What would you say, Sophia? Yeah, I would echo all of that. But I would say to people, you know, you really are worth it. And that's what I've really discovered through my journey is actually, you know, I am good enough to do this. And I am capable to ch of change. And I do have the power to do that. It's just I've needed somebody like you to come along and, and teach me all of that and give me the tools to, to, to help me along in my journey. But, yeah, you are really good enough and, and everybody deserves to be their best. They do. And, and I think um, uh, it's one of the greatest things that anyone can do and achieve is to stand in the light and just be proud of who they are and who they're becoming. Um, and I think where a lot of guilt and worry and doubt and frustration and depression sits is because people know they're not living up to their highest potential. I mentioned this this morning, you know, I think hell is the idea of meeting yourself at the end of your life and go, that's the person you could have become. Yeah. You know, we've got to make the most of the time that we have. And um, I, I'm so delighted that you both came on here this evening. So I'm going to put you back in the green room, if that's okay. Thank and I might need you to come <laughs> off the broadcast, uh, but then you can come back on, on your phone or, or your computer so we can... But thank you so much for being here. Just give Janet and give uh, Sophia a big uh, round of applause. Um, let's bring uh, let's bring Glenn into the broadcast this evening. It's it's so nice to have another man. We had three men yesterday on our broadcast. Uh, Glenn, good evening, my friend. How are you? Good evening, Pete. I'm very well, thank you. So, Glenn, tell us where you are in the world and and tell us uh, make us all very jealous. Um, well, I'm in a little place called Alta Badia. Um, it's in the Dolomites in Italy, skiing for my very, very first time. And it so, has been wow. snowed by Christmas. Wow, skiing for your first time. So why did you, why did you, why did you decide to go skiing for the first time? Because I thought, you know, that's the sort of thing that people don't do. You either ski when you're young and then, you know, you, you, know, you only do it if you're young and then you keep doing it because you've done it before. Absolutely. Why have you waited all of these years to go skiing? I asked myself the same question after doing my first lesson on Sunday. Um, it's one of my big challenges of getting out of my comfort zone. And this really <laughs> has been. Um, myself and my wife come to a big chalet with 33 other people we've never, ever met um, and decided to go skiing. We knew one person um, who organized it. We thought, well, look, let's get both get out of our comfort zones and really do something that is just going to be that can create a story as well. You know, it's something I can have written down, something that I have achieved, I have done, and it's created a bit of a story, which is what I'm a great believer of. Um, yeah. Only recently through, through my 365 that everybody needs to have stories. Yes. So tell us, first of all, um, Glenn, when, how did you find out about my 365 Elite? Totally randomly, uh, just looking through YouTube and you seem to pop up. Um, I was always just looking at uh, uh, PMA books and things like that and speakers, always give a bit of confidence or something. And, and it, you, you appeared. So I thought, OK, have a look, see, see what this is about. Wow. And, and tell us what's happened for you. What is it that you've achieved since you've been a part of, of this group? Well, it's huge amounts of confidence is, is one, one major thing. Um, my 365, we, 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 all, we all do need a coach. No one necessarily is mag magnificent or really good at what they do but you know you've got these elite uh, um, elite athletes they still need a coach yeah I was, I was very much just going along every day doing your everyday job I had these you know goals and flitted around with what you might want to do um so so for me it, it was i want to create a story i want to have grandchildren um and i want to be able to in my older days be able to have my grandchild on my lap and go this is the story of you know, Glenn, this is what I've done. Um, and I couldn't see any way, other way of achieving that. You know, me doing it myself, it, it wasn't going to happen. Wow. That's so <laughs> awesome. I don't know whether you've ever seen that film. seen the film. It's called Big Fish with Ewan McGregor and uh, Albert Finney. If anyone has not seen that film, just write it down, Big Fish. And uh, I'm not even going to tell you what it's about, but apart from the fact that it's, all about stories and the power of stories. So tell us a little bit about what you've actually achieved. So you're more confident. What else has changed significantly since you've been a part of this kind of personal development experience? I think significantly it's, it's my, my, my changes in my attitude towards life. 
um, how I want to create my own life. My confidence by asking better questions obviously gets better uh, answers when you ask better questions. My health, um, I have type 2 diabetes. It is totally reversible. I know that, but I, I just never had the goal or the mindset to be able to do it. Um, has, your diabetes, has your diabetes improved? Oh, absolutely. Fantastically well. Um, it's, it, it's reduced considerably from, uh, I think, two years ago. It's dropped right, right down. And I'm obviously still working on it and, and to get it done. Uh, activity and lifestyle is, is, is a way of changing that, what you eat, um, the activities that you do. So yeah. all these type of things have really been bought out from My365 Elite and the yeah. team behind you and what you show us the tools, obviously it still, ta it still takes me to do it. Yes. You know, with, with all being as good you are, you're not a magician and go, wee, there we go, it's happened. Yes. It, yeah. it takes hard work for us to do it and we're the ones that do it, but you're there every step of the way. Well, thank you. You know, one of my goals is to help people like you stand in your own light so you can say, you know what, I did it. I got my diabetes down. I got out of my comfort zone. I became more flexible through my mind and my body. Uh, I know you do yoga as well, right? I love yoga. And again, that's going out, put myself out of my comfort zone. And it's a big thing. I, I'm, I'm not loaded with money or anything like that. But I thought, no, comfort zone. Let's do this. I've got a yoga retreat in India and in Kerala on the 1st of April, going on my own with my local yoga, my local group. And I've, oh, I don't know what. I've, it's, it's just amazing. And you, you and my 365 have given me the inspiration to do that. Yeah. You know, taking something you really love and just really putting yourself out there and doing it. Well, my wife uh, is just write a comment here because uh, she watched you right here. We said, we love Glenn. Hands up, <laughs> oh, if you love Glenn. Uh, and I know Glenn really wants to. Uh, <laughs> well, that's where I get so much of my inspiration, but I also get huge amounts of inspiration from all of you people who are just ma massively going to work on yourself. So I'm going to try and bring in uh, someone else, but the screen is, their screen is blank, black, so I'm not actually sure if there's anyone there, but you never know. We'll give it a go. Um, Alicia, can you hear me? Yeah, no. I can hear you. Can um, you? So um, what I'm going to ask, uh, Alicia? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, can Glenn, you I'm going to put you back in the green room. Thank you so much for, for being my guest here this evening. Uh, and if uh, Janet and Glenn and Sophia, if you want to leave, if you want to somehow get out of what you're in, we might have some other people that come in. I, I really don't know. But if you then want to log back in to watch this on your phone or whatever, however you want to, thank you so much for being here. We, we really, 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 really do appreciate all of our members. And could someone answer that, please? I'm only joking. It's probably Alicia calling me. Um, so I don't know whether Janet if you and Sophia, you can see. There you go. I can see that. Uh, uh okay so let's see if anyone else i know that other some other people have got this link if they want to click on it and come on and be my guest this evening and uh, they most definitely can um <clears throat> i was today working with a whole load of personal trainers and um i used to be one and it was really fascinating because a lot of these personal trainers they they lack the skills in helping their clients think differently and we are all victims of our thinking and at school no one really ever taught you how to change the way that you think and all we ever do is the best that we possibly can do but most of us and this is where I thank Oprah Winfrey because Oprah introduced me to lots of people and one of the people she introduced me to was a guy called Dr. Phil uh, some of you maybe have heard of Dr. Phil I was a big fan of him big fan of him and I never forget one of the things that he said. He said, people do what they do until they know better. And some people, when they know better, they do better. But in order to know better, sometimes we have to need a coach. We need a coach. And that's what My365, one of the things it's about. And what makes it incredibly unique <clears throat> is coaching every day, Monday to Friday for our members. Rather than watching the news, you plug in, you spend 10, 15 minutes with, you, with me and with our other members. And every month we focus on a different area. And the whole idea is with those different areas, we bring them to life. We're not like, like librarians. We're people that are taking the information and applying it. That's what makes us so unique. We're applicators. We are doers. We are dreamers. 
in what we want to dream to make happen, but we want the dreamer to be really proud of the doer, of what the doer is doing every single day. So let's see. Alicia is now trying to <clears throat> come back in. There she is. Let's see if we can get on the broadcast now. You're in. Yay! Yes. Hey! I was there the whole time, <laughs> but I don't know well, what I happened. Can, I can, I can, I can see you now. Good evening, Alicia. Tell us uh, where you, where you're from. Tell us a little bit about yourself, and tell us what you have gotten out of uh, the whole My Three Six Five experience. Okay, so I'm originally from London, um, and I'm a, a single parent. Um, so I, I, I work with Pete uh, for over a year, and. And um, obviously got to know him as a person. Um, totally love your principles and everything. Just a great guy. Yourself and Hannah, great, you know, couple. And um, just um, slowly started hearing about MI365, obviously through Facebook and through yourself. And um, started listening to the daily broadcast every single morning. Um, this, this was the time when you used to broadcast live to the public five I'm days free. a week. Yeah. And um, I found that when I would listen to the broadcast, I would have a structured day, like listening to that in the morning would kind of set me up for the day. And so I, I didn't listen for a couple of days and then I found that my day didn't go the same as it did when I listened to the broadcast. So then I began listening every single morning. Now it was a bit of a struggle for me because um, around that time, um, I get my girls ready to go to school. So I had to try and fit it in. So at first I was kind of finding it hard. But um, I started um, going to bed earlier, waking up earlier, just so that I could, you know, fit that in in my routine. And um, once you um, announced that you uh, um, were not broadcasting to the public anymore, that's when I decided to uh, make the, the leap into becoming an elite member because I said, no, there's no way I can go every day without the broadcast. I need it. I need it in my life. And um, I never actually knew so much about it until joining Elite. And um, it's just, it's amazing and it's uh, uh you you don't truly know what it is until you actually join and um it just gets better and better yeah and and i'm still a newbie so i'm still learning everything and it's just really exciting so i love it so i i listen thank you for you know very much because i remember when you wanted to join you asked us about you know could you fit this into your life what will you get out of it you, you're a single parent uh, i'm sure there is there are there are challenges around all of that but i love the way you're realizing that you need to be uh, a great example to to your children um so what would you say some of the key things that you've actually achieved yourself since being a part of this experience so most of it were, were started to be eternally just breakthroughs and light bulb moments and um, a lot of emotion in the beginning because it was kind of like suddenly realizing things that um have all always stopped me from from progressing i'm like that's it that is why i can't get past this obstacle because of this reason and just like becoming emotional knowing that finally i had the answers to those type of things um so yeah so um sorry i forgot the question i'm just so well, excited just... <laughs> <laughs> no the question was i can't even remember what the question was either but it doesn't matter <laughs> It's been a, such a long day, but it's been an amazing day. And I want to thank you for being a part of the community as well, because I know you're 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 younger than than I think you must be the youngest member that we've had on this week as yeah, well. Yeah, and that's what I was worried about in the beginning. Remember, I asked you, I said, Pete, I'm a little bit concerned because everyone's uh, much older than me. But now the way I look at it is it's amazing because I'm being inspired, especially by the incredible women that are in MI365. So I, I'm actually kind of you know learning from from women that are a lot older so i can kind of have a yeah. direction more so maybe it's a benefit yeah i i think so but i'm pleased because obviously we all want to bring forward the next generation who are armed and equipped to deal with what life is going to throw at you because you know we we need to be stronger we need to be heroes you need to be a hero most people know the word most my 365 is the word hero comes from the greek word heros which is the protector so you are the protector of your two children uh, and mm. you need to protect them and you need to have the strength for for the two of them and the strength for yourself. So um, what's been your kind of what you say has been your biggest learning so far, your biggest light bulb moment? 
gosh, uh, that is a really hard question. Just that um, you can't change your world or you don't have any control out of your outer world unless you change yourself. Yeah. That is what is the key to happiness is changing yourself. Yeah. Um, you can't go to work on other people or trying to change your environment. You can't change your past. You can't change your future. You can certainly, you know, grow towards it. But um, just going to work on yourself is what is going to uh, bring you happiness in life. Um, mastering the keys to happiness, basically just, you know, learning all the skills and the tools. That's what I think. So, you know, when we talk about happiness, it's one of the things that you've learned that happiness is about kind of flourishing it's about being positive it's about achievement it's about meaning in your life building relationships is that is that the kind of thing that you mean happiness meaning to you growing developing yes because especially nowadays um i mean the state of the world if you really look at i mean i don't follow the news because it's just so depressing but um yeah. you know people are looking for happiness in the wrong places when it's, it's, everything is right here and that's what you teach us every everything we need is right here so um yeah it's just and, and trying to make people more aware of that it's like no don't do that just just concentrate on yourself meditate breathe figure yeah. out what you truly want you know don't try and change other people don't get don't get mad about things you can't change just just look within and, and you know learn to accept and let it go and you know that's what you teach us Yes, and but you're you're applying it, and you are uh, an an amazing example to to your children. I've met your eldest daughter, who I was just completely blown away by by her confidence and who she is. And you obviously are a great example to her. But they need you yeah. to be. They're looking to you. Everyone's looking to us. Everyone who meets us, whether they realize it, they're looking to us to maybe yeah. shine a little bit of light on them. I believe we're all lighthouses. And we all need Definitely. to shine that light nice and bright. Thank you so much for, for coming in here this evening, Alicia. I really appreciate it. I'm going to bring in another person in a second. Um, Alicia, thank you so much. And uh, before, I bring in, before I bring in my next guest, I wanted to uh, call, call a few people out in terms of, I'm going to call out Janet Davies. And, 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 and I had a conversation with her the other day about telling her story. You know, a woman that loses over seven stone in weight. Uh, I kind of called her out because she likes writing. And I said, well, come on, write that book. I'd read it. And I love to call people out. There's a, a lady, um, Gemma Murray in Scotland. She told me she wanted to create some music. So I said, okay, well, we're making all these meditations. I'll make some music for this med meditation. And she did it. I called her out. There's lots of people. I've been calling them out when they say they want to do something. But one of the people I, I really did call out was someone who I didn't know that long ago, and I'm going to bring her in now. And she's a massive part of what we do. And she's there right now holding on to her cat, Lola. Uh, it's Kate Carruth. Everyone, let's give Kate Carruth a big round of applause. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Kate. Uh, good um, evening, Kate. I, I promise I'm not having a blowfuck moment here. And this isn't a setup, but Lola decided to sit on my lap 10 minutes ago. Well, look, um, look, at, look at the cat who's, who's kind of looking at everyone right now. <laughs> Saying, I am a cat. Asleep. But it's really interesting. About this time last year, when you were doing um, the Best Year Yet Masterclass coaching last year, you said to everyone, visualize where you want to be in a year's time. And I visualized sitting on my sofa with a cat. And you didn't actually have a cat year, at that time. That's right. This time last year, I was in a job that wasn't fulfilling me, but saw me traveling the whole time. And I couldn't have pets. And it was one of those things that I just knew if I could get to a point where I was in a job I wanted to be in, then the first thing I would do is get a cat. And the day before I left my day job, Lola arrived. Um, and she's just been a big part of the journey for me this year. So it seems quite appropriate that she decided to photobomb me tonight. Yeah, she's, well, off. she's off now. She's, she's had a bit. Well, you should see... <laughs> Our cat, you know, my, my wife's cat that I've inherited. You know, yeah. my, this, my cat, every time I'll go in, most of you know this, I'll start broadcasting. The cat's often there asleep. As soon as I start talking, it wakes up, it looks at me and goes, nah, I don't need this. And it's gone. <laughs> it's not interested in personal development. The cat, do, they don't need personal development. They don't need coaching. 
but we do. And the, the reason for that's a few reasons. We've all been messed up. We've all got these silly ideas of who we are and what's wrong with us. And we've been, you know, we've been, we've been abused. Some of us have been physically abused. Some of us have been mentally abused. Some of us both. Uh, and, um, you know, we need help to extract and get rid of all of that nonsense and for us to stand in our own light. Whereas cats don't need, they'll stand in their own light, you know? So, um, Kate, just briefly tell us a little bit about what you've achieved since you've been uh, a My365 uh, member. Wow, so much. Um, so, um, key things for me, I suppose. I, so I joined, well, I, I joined Tales of a Life Coach not long after Stefan, who I know you interviewed yesterday, yeah. Uh, so uh, I've been following the My365 method, if you like, for two and a half years. I have in that time, just everything has changed for me. So as I said, I was in a job that wasn't fulfilling me, um, that was very high pressure, that was burning me out. I left that job to start my own business. I'm now doing the thing that I was put on this planet to do, which is support people who inspire to do what they do. And um, I am indescribably happy. I mean, the words, the, the, for, I'm a writer and I can't find the words to describe what my life is like. I mean, it's hard, it's, hard to, it's hard to put those things into words, especially yeah. for people to comprehend what that means to you but it means everything and I, and you've also lost a lot of weight as well right how much weight I've have you lost, lost i've lost six stone which in in uh pounds is about 84 pounds wow um, you see the uh, smile on alicia's face because i can yeah. see her no one else can but she's yeah. smiling hearing about your success because people yeah. love this they're like oh that's amazing well done you rather than I've, I've, I've moved into a I, I don't diet anymore. I just eat good, healthy food. I eat real food. Um, I take care of myself. I enjoy exercise. And actually, I learned to enjoy exercise through one of the other elite members, yeah, uh, which is Gemma Taylor, who's just taught me a way of enjoying exercise, which has never crossed my mind before. <clears throat> um, this time, just about this time last year, I finally, I'd had some health problems in the past. I'd had cancer what 12 years ago now and that had always been like a black cloud sitting on my shoulder and this time last year I was finally in a, in a place where I could say that's the past I'm putting that behind me and it completely liberated me from that experience yeah um, which is which was which was a huge trauma in my life and which I never even it was only when once I was past it I could look back and realize just how much it was coloring everything and sitting there kind of in the background well it's amazing how much stronger you've become because of it and mm. uh i i want to i want to just talk about a couple of things before we, we we kind of wrap this up and one of them is that we we are all going to be tested if you've never been tested in your life i i don't know who you are you must be living on a beach somewhere and the weather must be nice every single day and you've got no money worries or, or anything like that life is going to test you it's just going to test you and the stronger that you get and the healthier you get, I think maybe other tests are going to come your way. But it's good to have um, Kate here because the main thing I want to say to anyone that's watching this and watching it now or watch it in the future is dare to, 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 to dream big. You know, dare to think about things that you want to do. So I'm calling out Janet. Janet, get that book done. There's enough people who could help you with that if you really wanted help with it. But Janet and I need to talk clearly, <laughs> well, you know, because we want to help people and connect people, you know, to help people achieve their goals and their dreams. But if I just come down here in here, um, I must have been nearly two years ago that, you know, I needed some help, you know, with, with this. So I approached uh, Kate about helping us put our, a journal together. I believe journaling is a massive part of success. And if a life is worth living, it should be worth recording. I want someone to look at my journal one day. And um, I don't mind, you know, but it's not that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for me because I want to record what I'm doing. And it's alien to me. There's there's her journal. Volume five. That one is Pete. Volume five. Volume five. And I called I called you out to help me with this. And you mm -hmm. almost turned it down. You almost I've, said no. I'm that close, close to, to saying say, I'm too busy. I'm too busy when really. Well, the fact was, I, I think you like you've said that you questioned whether you could do it. But the re what I'm saying is the rest is history. And yeah. because you took on board that 
so many other opportunities have, have come your way. You're now a part of our our team. And if, if anyone um, works with us, they're a part of our team. They're a part of our family. And our goal is to be dream dream makers, story creators in any way. And anyone says this is what they want uh, to do. So I'm extremely grateful to, to Kate and the help that she's been given us. And in fact, in a, in a little while, in a few weeks, we're going to start doing a, a, a podcast. Well, we already do a podcast, but we're going to do a podcast which is about business. Because we, we realize there's a lot of people here who want to know about business. And I've built a number of successful businesses. I've built a number of businesses which have failed. But my, my business partner, Ben Davis, as well, you know, years of experience in uh, lead generation, internet marketing, just marketing. And we want to inspire a lot of people out there in creating business and how to take your business to the next level. So get ready for that later this – well, actually soon – and then later in the year, we're going to launch uh, a business academy for people who, because I think that's one area, another area which people need help and want support in. But you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There's help and support out there. So, uh, Kate, thank you so much for joining us this evening. You're very welcome. You are absolutely awesome. As okay. to is Alicia, um, we we really appreciate all of you. If you want to check out about Elite and see what see what it is, go to. There's a link in the post in the in the Facebook. Uh, post it's my365.me forward slash elite uh, go and see alicia's got a video on there i don't know whether alicia's actually seen that video yet have you just nod if you haven't no so go to my365.me forward slash elite put your e your name and your email address in scroll down that page you'll see a video i think with glenn murray as well you'll see a few of our members talk about their experience we really appreciate you tomorrow uh, I'm going to do a summary in the morning of everything we've done this week about turning your revolution, your resolution into a revolution, the habit busting formula, uh, how to turn your desperation into inspiration, how to create momentum. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about how to create great days, 365 days of great days that will lead you to a life of absolutely awesomeness. Um, if, if anyone's got anything they want to say, uh, feel free to say it now. Um, Thank you for all of your comments this evening. I know lots of people have been making comments. Uh, Lindsay Seals is in the house. Kate stepped up to, I can't read that word because it's too small on here. So courageous. Yeah, absolutely. Stepping into the light. Lindsay, you've done that as well. Oh, Derwin Banks is in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Derwin Banks. If you don't know who Derwin Banks is, uh, he's one of the greatest human beings on earth. And he makes the finest linseed oil in the world go to this is a plug for him go to oh, i can't even remember the name it's high barn high barn high barn linseed oil go and google that linseed oil is so good for you and he makes the finest linseed oil in the world so there you go great to see you my friend and also a rotarian thank you that was amazing thank you brian martin you're amazing too um anyone else like 165 comments this evening um my voice is going i've been talking all day today um, which is something I do a lot of. So we love you guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. And there's my mum. Look, my mum's saying, linseed oil man. Hannah Bradley is saying, yippee, Derwin is here. So um, we all need to help each other. <laughs> we all, you need, if you want to help yourself, then I believe other people can help you. Susan Henderson, thank you very much. Another incredible lady lost huge amounts of weight. A great example to so many people. Same Louise Summerscales. There's a video about her. Louise, I don't know whether you've seen the testimonial. Another woman, Wendy Hutton, a lady who's given her life to the service of other people, you know, and helping kids who need help. Uh, Lindsay Seals, one of the most inspirational people I know in the place of the planet. There's Sophia Best again. Um, someone who's learned to love herself and appreciate who she is. We could go on and on and on. We could go on all night. But uh, I'm sure some of you probably want to go and watch the news. You, know, you probably don't want to do that. But thank you so much. We will see you soon. Desi Willoughby is in the house. She's amazing. Another former member of the month from My365. Watch My365. You can get involved with what, you're, with what we're doing and be a part of it. It might seem like a cult. Uh, but it is a cult. It's a culture, a culture of greatness, a culture of amazingness. Susan Dugan, I saw, left a message there. 
um, wonderful broadcast. Susan Dugan, who I interviewed, I think, on Monday, changed her life around with the support of her family, four boys, and her husband, um, and massively, massively uh, had huge amounts of success, stepped out of her comfort zone. Janet Davies, our guest this evening, thank you so much. Carmen, also one of our guests this week, uh, member of the year for 2017 and 18 until September next year when we announce. Will it be you? Louise Summerscales is in the house. Thank you so much, everyone. See you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. for the last week of this broadcast. And if you want to be elite, you've got until tomorrow night to do it. Get involved. We'll see you soon. Have a nice evening. Ta-ta for now.